Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and guess what I got for you? You guessed it, another knife, but this is a special one, and let me tell you why. The other day I was at the post office, I go to the post office during lunch uh, when I'm at work, and on my way home I go to the post office because I, I live close to where I work, and post office is not too far away, and my little city where I live. And I got a package, which didn't surprise me because I was waiting for a, a older knife from the 1990s that I had bought recently on eBay. And I took it to my car and then I looked at the address and I said, wait a minute, this knife is coming from Canada or this package is coming from Canada. I didn't know it was a knife yet. And I thought, who's it from? And then it says S. Harvey. I thought, could that be Stuart Harvey? So I took it home and I eagerly opened the knife, right, or the package, right, and it was a knife with a very touching letter from Stuart Harvey, one of my viewers. And uh, this knife couldn't have come at a better time. You know, I was having a hard day at work and and uh, just brightened up my day when, when, I, when I saw what was in it and I read Stuart's letter, you know. And I want to tell you, Stuart, I appreciate that very much. And so I wanted to send Stuart a gift, uh, kind of like as a thank you. Uh, he wasn't having it. You know, Stuart wasn't having it. He's a very strong-willed person, and he just wanted to send it to me in a way to show that he's supporting my channel, and I, I appreciate that greatly. Um, but I still wanted to send him something. So after a lot of, uh, of uh, coercing on my part, uh, Stuart allowed me to send him a little something. So, Stuart, uh, there's a little something coming your way. Um, I hope you like it. I'm sending you two things, something new, and something eh, not so old, but maybe, I think, 1990s old. So I hope you like it. I know you can get a lot of use out of these two things that I'm sending you because you're a man of action, and I know you can work with your hands. So for that reason, I think you're going to like these two things I'm sending you. Uh, as you already know, Stuart, I already uh, sent you a picture of the tracking number. I know I didn't have to, uh, but it just touched me very much that uh, you remembered me. And guys, the, the the knife is awesome. First of all, let's check out the knife. This is a Milwaukee Tools Fastback, right? And here it says Milwaukee Tools, more Milwaukee, and then Fastback. And uh, this is a great work knife. And I could have used this because uh, a couple of weeks ago we got hit by Hurricane Hannah. And I lost a portion of my fence, two fences, one in the front, one in the back. I already put one up. And I was cutting some cord, putting up some cedar fence panels, digging holes for fence posts. And I could have used this to cut cord, uh, rip into cement bags. And I could have used this a whole lot of ways if I had it then. But I know I will get a chance to use it again because I'm not done with my reparations. And I still need to fix my back fence. And uh, also, you know... Uh, you know, I had some wind damage also. A trellis came down that we had for a very long time. And any anyway, uh, I might post a couple of pictures later at the end of this video. But in any case, I want to tell Stuart thank you. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. And But check this out. This has a button lock. So you can't open it like this. Uh-uh. You have to press it in, and then you can open it. But the interesting thing about these knives is this. Uh, this is a liner lock. You can also open it like this. You press in the button and flick it open, just like that. It's a nice little flicker, you know? Press it open and then flick it, just like that. And it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little knife to have. You can open it one-handed that way. If you're holding up a fence post with one and you need to cut something with the other, you can just flick this thing open. And uh, it's not bad. That's left-handed. It's not bad at all. So. The other thing I wanted to mention is that what really makes it special is that Stuart did some work on it. See that? These knives don't normally come with choils, but uh, Stuart put in a choil, which I thought was really cool. Um, choils, if you don't know, are there so that you don't over sharpen like the bottom part of this knife. It has to help with sharpening. And uh, so that this bottom part of the knife doesn't get particularly beat up when you're sharpening it. And also he put a nice little edge on there. The factory edge wasn't good enough for Stuart, and he put a nice little edge on there. So, Stuart, I can't explain to you how nice this was to receive this little gift from you. I appreciate that very much. I hope you like what I sent you, you know. Stuart, I know you paid a pretty penny uh, to send that all the way from Canada, and I appreciate that. I also paid a little something to send it over to you. 
And, you know, I want you to know that even though mine's a, a little bit heavier, that's from the bottom of my heart. I hope you like it. It's in a white rectangular box. So if you see something like that in the post office, it's for me. Okay? I know you'll be able to use them. So in any case, this is a knife detector. Uh, saying to you guys, this is what it's all about, you know. I believe that this knife collecting hobby of ours is not only a window into past memories, experiences that we've had with our family, recollections, but it's also a doorway, a doorway to new friendships, new conversations, and to find common ground with one another, uh, people all across this world of ours through the miracle of YouTube and the Internet. So this is a knife detector signing off saying God bless you. Keep your knives sharp. Keep your wits even sharper. Oh, hey guys, I forgot to mention. I know I said I was going to be doing a, a series of some older knives or vintage knives from different times in the past hundred years, right? Uh, but I had to interrupt that series with this video because I was just so touched by it. So that's going to continue. And the next video is going to be on a Victorinox mechanic knife. They stopped producing the Victorinox Mechanic around 1994, 1996. And I'm going to show you a good example of one in our next video uh, in my Vintage Knife series, or at least what I call Vintage. And I have uh, that one and two more coming up as part of that series. Take care, guys.